Alright everybody, um, so it's been a while since I've been able to actually come out and do anything um, exploring related, so because of this lockdown that's been going on, my hair is, well, it, it, it tragically needs cutting, but that's besides the point. Um, the point is, today I've been able to get out and do a pretty good explore for the first time in a while. Um, we are at Sean Mead. Um, it's a public place. Um, you can access it. Uh, it's quite a fascinating place, really, because Sean Mead is one of five different forts that were made to protect the Thames Estuary. If I turn you around, there we go. So over there, you have Cliff Fort. A little further behind, you have Grain. Over there, you have Tilbury. I believe it's the Til Tilbury. There's another one called Colmead. I think that was the name of it. And all these forts, they were designed to protect the estuary um, from the French. Uh, but as Graham, Graham's over there, as Graham pointed out, there seems to be a World War II extension, which, well, must be uh, an anti-aircraft emplacement. So, we've climbed on the roof, um, we didn't actually think there was a way around to climb onto it, it was only sort of light until we came around it, but um, you can get sort of a better view of the roof. Oh yeah, 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 let's go have a look at that. Yeah, so... As you can see, you've got down there. It's basically the same build as Cliff Fort from my previous video. Um, so you've got, uh, over here, you've got the old um, tracks for the guns that used to sort of uh, be across there. I believe that's a World War II extension. Because um, I think there would have been cannons before that. Um, yeah, it's a little bit dodgy walking up on top of it. Um, so, you've got that. So you kind of have a good advantage over this place. Uh, let's have a look around here. There's a little... This, this is what Graham was on about over here. I thought I'd get a closer look at it. Um, still see the old metal rebar. Still still there. But it's obviously collapsed over time because they don't get looked after. Uh, unlike the Tilbury one. So, yeah. Uh, when the MOD used to own this, they actually attempted to demolish it. But, as you can see, that quite clearly failed because they only demolished uh, about half of the fault. So the rest of this structure still remains to this day. Um, there are tunnels here as well. Um, what we'll do is we'll just focus first on the uh, casemates. And then I'm presuming the tunnels will be the magazine rooms. So, now that we're at the bottom bit, let's take a look at the casemates. So, they've still got the um, the, the hoops where they would have obviously attached the guns, but they don't have the hooks. Um, but what I quite like is this thing here. Proper metal leftovers. You can actually still see, I think these were the hooks where the guns would have been. So yeah, um, I'm presuming it would have been the same sort of style as Cliff Fort where you'd have had something going over, um, going over this bit here. Because it sort of looks like these used to sort of have some kind of platform or some something else attached to them so yeah I think it's on this end here so 
seems that on this bit here there was never any uh, guns installed on this bit all right that didn't make any sense so the rails are not actually on this bit here but the guns are no sorry the, the hooks and the stuff like that okay then so that one actually has got something to it so yeah these ones here are the ones that have got the rails so the guns could have could have slid around do that uh, do, it's all like aim but yeah if you actually that's a good point just notice there's these concrete squares I'm presuming these would have been the pillars for at one point when there would have been an overhanging structure. Hello, hello. Ah, there we go. That goes to the magazines. Right then. So yeah, someone's put a swing. This bit here. It's like some exhaust bit for a bike, it looks like. Um, and uh, yeah, this is kind of where it sort of comes to an end. I'm assuming that bit there was a little fireplace. There's a gun slit. Um... Well, mate. So, yeah. Right, so I'm going to refilm this part. Um, so, this part here is waterlogged, as you can see. Uh, you might be able to pick it up. There you go. See that bit there? So, it's basically your general standard of the mill um, magazine. You've got the uh, usual uh, rooms which I think all interconnect. And then you've got this tunnel, which serves as like an easy access. Um, so you can just go to whichever uh, case, mate. I'm not sure about this archway um, brickwork here, um, whether that, that was just a part of the structure. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, Apparently it's waterlogged that way over there, so I'm not going to bother going all the way down there. Um, again, you can't see it because it's not lit up properly. Um, there you go. You should be able to just make it out here. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just travel that way, see what's down there. Ugh, there might not be anything. Oh, Christ. You can see where they've tried to backfill it, but it's not sort of... Worked. Right, okay, so that's quite flooded in that room there. Oh, right, okay, that's... <laughs> so, basically, there's just like a mound of dirt there, and then the rest of it's just flooded. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what that bit over there is. Hmm. That would. So, yeah, I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Yeah, so the tunnels aren't really worth it because uh, they're waterlogged. So, um, and I'm going to have to go over and review the footage that I've done, I've recorded in the tunnels because I don't think they're going to come out too great either. So, if they don't, I'll have to still add them anyway. Um, see if I can light the video up a little bit more. So, yeah. Um, we should resume normal service again after this whole thing turns over. So please like, subscribe, see you in the next video.